Hi and welcome to this tutorial. So let's start by double clicking here and import logo. Suppose it's uh, this one. And then go to the logo comp and drag the new logo. Hide the other one. Uh, select the new one. Press S for scale. Then scale it up or down. Adjust the size. Uh, right now it's good, so no need. Uh, then go to the tagline and just you have here two lines of text. Just uh, edit them and type wherever you want. Like I uh, will type curve, for example, and then scale the text down. Okay, I think it's not centered here, so I'll just move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, no, it's good. Then go to the addition comp, and uh, the first thing to do is to select the surface. Right now, it's you see. Let's uh, select the surface here. A layer then go to the effect control tab and uh, now we see that it's set on the alpha channel so it's good for this logo it has a nice uh, shape so we can work with its alpha channel so let's hide this one again ah, uh, other thing you can here set the stroke start angle you see that's moving uh, choose if you want two shapes if you hide here we see that you have two two strokes that will uh, animate at the same time but you can choose to have only one for example so now we have only one so it's up to you we can have three so if you want three that will join after a while so it's up to you and of course this will play with the starting angle and we see about these two later so since this is hided okay so let's select this general setup what you have here at the beginning we have the speed right now it's uh, 70 uh, a higher value will make the the, the animation uh, more um, fast and lower value more slow so if i give it uh, i don't know if i go here this moment of the reveal and i give it a higher value like 100 we see that it's already revealed and the animation is about here but we if you give it if you go here and we give it a slower value you see that the animation is so it took a lot of time to like set everything to work with only one value, this reveal speed. And I've done that to, so that you, you'll be able to use whatever music track you want. So uh, I hope you like this option. So after that, we have the smoke intensity. So let's go back to 70. We have the smoke intensity. And it's the smoke here that appear will... Uh, let's set this color before. So I have light rays tint. I just go here to have my logo hole and select uh, some of its color for the light rays tint. And go back here. And now we have a better color for our light rays. And even I can make it more, I don't know, more... Uh, yeah, more uh, saturated or less. Something like that. Let's hide. Uh, okay, so let's hide. Okay, now you see better. So we were at the smoke, uh, so I can get rid of the smoke to have. Uh, no, so it's the stroke intensity. Sorry. So if I want to see, see if you play with the value, it's like just give a little bit intensity of the stroke. Then you have the ray smoke, uh, and if you can get rid of it to have clean rays or have like a little bit of atmosphere. Uh, we have the tint, so we cover that. We have the logo size. So you can make it bigger or slower, it's up to you. Have the logo bump and just, just a little bit of effect, bump effect uh, after a while. Yeah, I don't know if it's really visible here, but it's there. Uh, after that, we have the ground reflection. So it's just to have to be able to remove this reflection on the ground, it's up to you. And we have the title scale, it's this. You can play with this position also here. And you see that uh, the reflection updated automatically. Yeah, uh, the value zero is for centered um, position. After that, you have the title tint, so you can give it color here if you want, or not. And also, you have this wall, so I can get rid of it or make it visible, more visible. It's up to you. And uh, you see also its reflection on the ground. So after make it visible, I can play with its color also. So it's up to you. Very easy and very simple. Uh, you have also this fade out layer. So uh, wherever ends you want for the, your animation, you can place it. Suppose if I make my animation slower, if I go here and give it lower value, so it now it will end about 
a 10 second I guess I think because I have tried this value before so we can make this uh, uh, fade out here okay then uh, this uh, comp is 4k so if you want to render a uh, full HD version just open this one and render it uh, don't forget to set the time uh, like uh, the, the edition one and uh, so if it's 10 so 10 second if it's 9 so go to 9 second so you can just place your uh, cursor here and then when you go it, it will find it in the same position and just press N and this will set the end of uh, the work area then press render and you're good to go before I go I forgot to cover one aspect of this um, template so if I choose uh, another kind of logo you see these logos are great because their shape is simple and you can use the your their alpha channel to make great uh, animation but suppose you have uh, this kind of logo or this one so if I select this logo I place it sorry place it here press S scale it down and go to edit the edition we'll see that uh, we are using its alpha channel so it could work it's good okay but we may want to use for example this letter G so to do that just go to surface setup activate this layer then go to control and this choose color region and tolerance this is the two um, uh, controller that you will work with for this kind of logo so just to uh, pick up pick up a uh, color and then now before that you have to disable this alpha region okay so now speak this and play with the value of the tolerance now we will have only this G you see and no a little bit more tolerance okay yeah we have only this G so hide this one and go back and you see that now the animation is working using our letter G thank you for watching and uh, please if you like this template take time to rate it it will help me very much thank you goodbye